Create something. Under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down, choose the tool Power Nerves. Under Operator Parameters, choose License. Select Upgrade and activate the plugin. Enter your license ID and password. You should now see Power Scan to Nerves listed. Restart Autodesk 3ds Max. Also run Autodesk 3ds Max as an administrator. Here we have a typical scanned model. The model has nearly 70,000 triangular faces. To convert your scanned model to NURBS, select the Power Scan to NURBS tool, located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. These are the default conversion settings which you should typically use for your model. Choose to update. The size of your model will vary the time it takes to convert from Sub-D to NURBS. Once your model is in a NURBS format, you can apply an editable NURBS modifier to see the face breakdown and whether or not it has any open edges. Select Face to see the NURBS face breakdown. As you can see, our model is one volume, one element, and contains no open edges. Choose to export as a dot .step, which is a standard CAD translation type. You can also export as IGIS, SAT, or any other NURBS format. You can also export as a .stl, which is a format used to make a watertight model. Open a CAD program like Autodesk Inventor. Read in your exported step file. Now you can also perform NURBS operations to your converted model. For example, using the Power Boolean tool to give the model a base to stand on. Select the Power Boolean tool, also located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. Set the operation to Union, choose Start Picking and select the base. Apply an editable NURBS modifier to verify that there are no open edges. Next, choose the Power Fillet tool, also located under the NPower Tools 1 drop-down. Enter Edge Selection Mode and choose the side box edges. Show Fillet Result. Export. And read in your new step file to Autodesk Inventor. When going through the Scantonopes process, there are a few things you should know and look out for. If your model has holes or open borders in mesh form, they will remain as holes after the conversion to NURBS as well. So, you may want to patch these areas before the conversion. If you don't patch these areas before the conversion, you may be able to fix open holes with NPower tools afterward as well. For example, using the Corner Blend tool. 
and unifying with the Power Join tool. Also, you should know that the default settings for the Power Scan to Nerbs tool will most usually produce the best result for your conversion. However, if you convert your model and believe it has too much surface density, you can increase the knot facing on your next conversion. The conversion will be considerably faster in time, but will not produce as detailed of results. Very large meshes with half a million faces or more will require the 64-bit version of Autodesk 3ds Max. Power Scan to NURBS is a highly threaded application, so the more processors you have, the faster your conversions will be. Thank you for following along with the Power Scan to NURBS tutorial. Have a wonderful day.